When looking at sin in the Bible, the issue of pride is as old as sin itself. When sin was first brought into the world, as recorded in Genesis, when the serpent came to Eve in the garden, he used pride to lure her into eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which God expressly forbade. Genesis 3 verses 4 to 6 And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Now we know that after Adam and Eve ate the fruit, they became aware of their nakedness. God found them, and their rebellion against him became man's greatest shame, in which the price of sin had to be paid ultimately with Christ's death on the cross. As this is a passage that deserves further examination, we are going to look to the book of Isaiah, to who we know to be the serpent that was responsible for leading mankind to the fall. Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Here, we read the first recorded words that anyone said in the Bible. Before God said, let there be light, Satan, Lucifer, claimed that he would be like the Most High, in which his rebellion against God will finally lead him to being cast into the lake of fire. Here we see that Satan's tactic is to make man believe that their will is not under submission to the Lord, and that we can be like gods, which we see by both examples where that ends up. Every time we engage in sin, we fall into the original temptation in the garden, showing how much we need God to save us from ourselves, and reminding us of how that same spiritual attack is being used today. Proverbs 16 verse 18 Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall.